Namaste to everyone. I am here to explain some of the basic concepts of Ayurveda. Ayurveda is the ancient system of Indian medicine. It has been broadly explained in the Brihatrais, that is the Charaka Samhita, Sushruta Samhita and Ashtanga Rudaya written by Vagabata. And Lagutrais, which are the Madhava Nidhana, Sharangadara Samhita and Bhava Prakasha. In today's episode, we will be dealing with the process of food digestion which is also called as Avastha Paka. Avastha Paka Avastha Paka is nothing but how the food is being digested at various stages. Ayurveda explains three stages for digestion. Those are Avigdha Avastha, Vigdha Avastha and Pakva Avastha. Avigdha Avastha being the first step of digestion is called as Madhura Avastha Pak. Madhura Avastha Pak is being taken from Charaka Samhita Chikitsa Sthana 15th chapter verse 9. It is being quoted as Annasya Bhukta Matrasya Shedrasasya Prapakataha Madhura Dhyana Kafo Bhavat Fena Bhuta Udiriyate the Anna, that is the food which we consume, is predominant of Prithvi Mahabhuta. The food which we consume must also have six types of taste or six varieties of taste. Those six varieties of taste are Madhura, Amla, Lavana, Katu, Tikta, Kashaya. That is, Madhura is sweet, Amla is sour, Lavana is salty, Katu is I can say it as spicy or hot in its uh, taste. And Tikta is bitter, Kashaya is astringent. Madhura Dhyana Kafo Bhavat Fena Bhuta Udiriyate Once the food enters the first stage of digestion, the Madhura Rasa gets released from the food because of the digestive enzymes and the food which reacts with them, it forms froth. The froth is said to be fena. In, a, in Sanskrit, fena means froth. Once the madhura rasa and the fena is being released, it increases the kapha dosha. Kapha dosha is one of the bio engines of the human body. Once the kapha dosha is activated, it causes drowsiness sleepy mood and sometimes even jrumba. Jrumba is nothing but yawning. You might have seen some of the people even after having their food they yawn or they go lethargic or they drowse. That is because of the aggravation of the kapha dosha because of the madhura rasa and fena which is being formed. The period, the time period, the food which stays here in Madhura Avastha Paka is 3 hours. And then, from Madhura Avastha, the food then has to undergo the second stage of digestion, which is called the Amla Avastha Paka or the Vigda Avastha Paka. That is being quoted as this is from Charaka Samhita, Chikitsa Sthana, 15th chapter, verse 10. Parantum Pachyamanasya Vidagdasya Amla Bhavataha Amla Bhavataha Ashayacha Chayavamanasya Pittam Acham Udiryate We have to split the words, that is Pittam Acham Udiriyate. That is how we read. We have to split the words and read because they are being joined from Sandhi, which is the language functions here. Now we'll focus on the physiological function here. Parantum Pachyamanasya. 
the partially digested food from the amla avastha paka which enters the sorry the partially digested food from the madura avastha paka which enters the amla avastha paka vidagdasya amla bhavataha will now release amla rasa which is more predominant at the second stage of digestion now this partially digested food which is in amla avastha paka resides in the small intestine which can be understood as such and it stays for 5 to 6 hours there it releases amla rasa and amla rasa is the characteristic property of pitta dosha and hence it increases pitta dosha and conversion of food from vijatiya to sajatiya takes place due to the increase of pitta dosha the person feels a slight raise in his temperature and he starts feeling thirsty and why it is called as acham udiryate acha is nothing but clear clear belchings will happen if it is digested properly here because intestine forms the main site of digestion as you all know and then the food enters the last stage of digestion that is called the katu avastha paka in katu avastha paka it is also taken from charaka samhita chikitsa sthana 15th chapter verse 11 it quotes pakvashayam tu praptasya shoshyamanasya vanhina this is vanhi that is vanhina paripindita pakvasya paripindita pakvasya vayu syat katu bhavatah this is the last stage of digestion and here the production of ahara rasa is formed from the ahara this ahara rasa is being absorbed and is segregated as sara and kitta bhaga and is supplied to the seven successive dhatus dhatus are the supporting elements of the body now focusing on this quotation it says pakvashayam tu praptasya the digested food which is been obtained from the pakvashayam pakvashaya means intestine prakvashayam tu praptasya the now the digested food which is been obtained from the pakvashaya praptasya means which is obtained shoshyamanasya vanhina is shoshyamanasya vanhina because of the digestive fire vanhina shoshyamanasya vanhina because of the digestive fire the food is being digested and separating the useful and waste product of the digested food that is the sara and kitta as i told you the food is completely digested the person develops enthusiasm and he feels hunger because of the stimulation of agni one he means agni here because the food is being digested and it is sent out of the small intestine his agni or his digestive fire is once again ignited now now the time period here at the last stage where sara and kitta bhaga takes place from ahara rasa is about 5 to 10 hours in some it may extend from 6 to 12 hours 
paripindita pakvasya what is left out after the complete digestion the the leftover product that is paripindita pakvasya which is predominant of vayu mahabhuta and also akasha mahabhuta the elements at this stage are vayu and akasha elements which are getting digested or which is predominant over here that tastes katu or pungent here vata dosha gets aggravated because katu aggravates vata dosha and hence the person feels light he feels enthusiastic and his hunger is once again recalled upon the time period is differing and it increases from one stage to the other stage if you have noticed in madura avastha pak say it is for 3 hours in madura avastha pak and in amla avastha pak it is from 3 to 6 hours and in katu avastha pak it is for 6 to 12 hours now that the anna now that the anna paka takes place and the ahara rasa is formed once the ahara rasa is formed it is being segregated into it is being segregated into sara and kitta bhaga the kitta bhaga is nothing but the waste the sara bhaga is nothing but the useful or the nutritive part this sara bhaga is utilized for nourishing the seven dhatus or the sapta dhatu for nourishment of sapta dhatu the sara bhaga is taken and successively at each dhatu one kitta bhaga is also given out and this is how the body is being nourished from the anna rasa or the ahara rasa which is formed from the anna this digestion takes place by the three steps which are described which is collectively called as the avastha pak which is the avastha pak thank you